Effective this school year, 2012-2013, we begin with the implementation of grades 1 and 7 under the K-12. to For the elementary, I would like to mention at this point that there is not much difference with the previous curriculum. The things that are new are the following. We are introducing mother tongue as the medium of instruction in most of the subjects, except English, of course, and Filipino. And we are having mother tongue as a subject. And also we are introducing MAPE, Music and Arts, PE and Health in grade one. The curriculum follows a spiral approach. The content builds on the different subjects and increases in complexity. And speaking of the subjects, we have the following learning areas. Integrated language arts consists of mother tongue, English, and Filipino. This focus on the development of literacy and numeracy skills and learning of concepts in the mother tongue from grades one to three, and later, will transfer to the second language, namely Filipino and then English. The macro skills like listening, speaking, reading, writing, and viewing will be spiraled down across the grade levels and across the languages. The ultimate goal is communicative competence, both oral and written in three languages. For science, the overarching goal is to develop scientific literacy among the students so that they will become informed and participative citizens of the country. In a way, they can make judgment and decisions regarding applications of the scientific knowledges that they have learned from the school across the social, the health, and environment. The science curriculum promotes a strong link between science and technology, including indigenous technology, keeping our country's cultural uniqueness and peculiarities intact. For elementary mathematics, basic concepts and ideas, skills and processes on numbers and number sense, geometry, measurement, patterns and algebra, probability and statistics as in list, using appropriate technology in critical thinking, problem solving, reasoning, communicating, making connections, representations and decisions in real life. Ang Araling Panlipunan, ito ay isang asignatura na nagtuturo ng mga konsepto sa pananagutang pangsarili, pamilya, kapwa, bansa o daigdig, at Diyos. Pananagutan para sa kabutihang panlahat upang mamuhay ng may kaayusan, katiwasayan, kaunlaran, tungo sa kaligayahan ng tao. Edukasyong pantahanan at pangkabuhayan develops knowledge, skills, values, and attitude in agriculture, entrepreneurship, information communication technology, home economics, and industrial arts that can help improve self, family, and community life considering sustainable development. The music program focuses on the learner as the recipient of the knowledge, skills, and values necessary for artistic expression and cultural literacy. The curriculum design is student-centered, based on spiral progression and grounded in performance-based learning. Thus, the learner is empowered through active involvement and participation to effectively correlate music and art to the development of his or her own cultural identity and expand his or her vision of the world. The art program provides our Filipino learners with art experiences that include recognizing, creating, and appreciating 
and critiquing their own artistic works and works of others. From kindergarten, art instruction begins with creative exploration of art materials, concepts, and processes found in the Philippines and in other countries. It continues to develop the student's imagination and individual expression and inquiry into the aesthetic qualities of his work and the work of others. Physical education program is anchored on the tenet, move to learn, learn to move, with ultimate goal of achieving lifelong fitness. It shall contribute to the development of fitness, health, and wellness among the school age students as provided in the program's rich and challenging physical activity experiences. The health program or the health component of MAPE from kindergarten to grade 6 focuses on the physical, mental, emotional, social, moral, and spiritual dimensions of health and enables the learners to acquire essential knowledge, attitudes, and skills necessary to promote good nutrition, prevent and control diseases and substance use and abuse, and reduce health-related risk behaviors to prevent and control injuries with the end in view of maintaining and improving personal, family, community, national, and global health. Ang edukasyon sa pagpapakatao or ESP ay asignaturang bahagi ng K-12 nagagabay at huhubog sa mga kabataan. Ang tunguhin o outcome ng ESP ay kabataang nagpapasya at kumikilos ng mapanagutan tungo sa kabutihang panlahat. Nangangahulugan ito na lilinangin at pauunla rin ang pagkataong etikal ng bawat mag-aaral. Upang maipamalas ito, kailangang magtaglay siya ng limang pangunahing kakayahan o macro skills gaya ng pag-unawa, pagninilay, pagsangguni, pagpapasya at pagkilos. The medium of instruction to be used by teachers in managing the lessons would be the mother tongue, except for English and Filipino, from kindergarten to grade 3. From grades 4 to 6, the medium of instruction would be English or Filipino. The time allotment per subject area varies. For the languages, it could be 40 to 30, especially so for English, where English will be taught or introduced in the curriculum as a subject in the second semester, which will be focusing on the oral fluency. But for mathematics and Araling Panlipunan, it might be for 40 and 50 minutes per session. The schools are encouraged to enrich their curriculum. They may provide additional time for remediation or enrichment activities for the subjects. In the depth and order regarding the implementing guidelines of grades 1 to 10 of the K to 12. You will find sample class programming like this. The school, however, is encouraged to enrich or tinker with the sample class programming provided in the depth order. They may enrich by way of increasing the time allotment or enriching the content of the lesson. Regarding the learning or teaching resources that would be of great importance in the conduct of the lessons, 
I would like to inform our listening grade one teachers that they can make use of existing materials in their schools. There is a deputy issuance that primarily informs the field about the use of the existing textbooks and other materials that they have in their own schools, including the pages as to where they will be getting them as they make plans with their lessons. I would like to invite the teachers to utilize these materials in the planning of their lessons.